today we're gonna go see Perfetto. They're a contractor in the Brooklyn, Manhattan area. We're in the neighborhood, so I figured why not visit them. Per usual, I cannot provide you really any helpful information as far as what we're gonna see today. So stay tuned. Matt and I are going to make our way through Brooklyn and Manhattan, go to the job site, and we'll take it from there. job in, in, in itself as a resiliency is a, 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 a wall for you know future flooding flood wall okay so uh, about a mile long 10 blocks 12 gates 10 gates uh, some sliding some we haven't put the gates up yet but you'll see the wall construction that we have going on you know right along the East River here doing some mini piles some jack routing we probably have about uh, a crew of about 15 20 guys you know plus another you know half a dozen subs so yeah, things are uh, moving along. It's a, it's a three and a half year job. We're about six months into it, so we're uh, making our way, you know. It's definitely a crazy project. Just where it is and everything is yeah. stuff. But it's part of it's part of a one was it one point four billion? Yeah exactly. Yeah. This so. is the first phase of uh, a bigger program that happens. So between like just saying between the, where we are right now mm -hmm. all the way down to the uh, lower part of Manhattan there's another contract where instead of building a wall because of the grade, you know, should the water come in, you know, in, 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 a, in, a, in a, a flood event what they're doing in the uh, southern part of Manhattan, where you have you know, the other bridges, the East River bridges, yeah. instead of building a wall, they're elevating. There's some areas where they're building a wall and other areas where they're elevating the grade. You know, they're basically just building the seawall up. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of complexity of that job as well. That's a bigger program. That's like a billion dollar job. But and yeah, th this one definitely has a, a touch of, of every like aspect of you know, heavy civil. <laughs> interesting about this wall is if it was just a two-sided wall that was uh, getting poured right up against straight forms we'd uh, you know it would be kind of a straight-up job the deep foundations is one component but there's a liner and it's a changing liner so every little segment module you see yeah. has its own customized liner and the architect on the job came up with this great idea that they wanted to have a, uh, a pattern that has a frequency to it so it's like a wave and you'll see when you get out there and the wave changes so in certain areas the wave is stretched out in other areas as we continue to build you know so it's there's like 30 something different types of form liners you know that we have <laughs> and uh, it's like a, a little bit of a chinese menu trying to you know map out where each one's got to go <laughs>
uh, to summarize, we just visited the great city of Manhattan um, to check out. They're, they're building a flood wall along the river. It's about a mile of new flood wall, three-year project. Very complex work, pretty impressive. It's not gonna look like a whole lot when they're done with it. Um, but it'll hopefully protect this part of the area from future storm surges like when Hurricane Sandy came through a few years back. That's the kind of stuff that they're trying to protect the city from. So that was a pretty neat job. I haven't seen a whole lot of work that urban before. A ton of challenges when it comes to everybody around them. And I, I don't envy them on that one. Uh, and now we are going to go to LaGuardia Airport to go home. Friday's cool, but Friday's even cooler and we need to go home. So, we'll see everybody on the next one. Thanks for tuning in. Are you recording audio this time? Yes. Good. Um,